Alright guys, welcome to your 12th Photoshop tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the rectangular marquee tool. Pretty freaking sweet. Now we're going to be working with the image of the puppy that I got today actually. My new best friend in the whole world, old Dan. How freaking cute is he? Eight weeks old and actually I'm going to be talking a little bit uh, kind of quiet during this tutorial because old Dan is sleeping right behind me like three feet literally and I really don't want to wake him up because this is the first time he's been sleeping all day but anyways I'm gonna be a little quiet and try to do this tutorial so in order to get the rectangle marquee tool we need to go ahead and use this tool and once you see the options you're gonna see rectangular marquee tool now this is one of the tools that allows you to make a selection or select a portion of your image now why the heck would you want to select a portion of your image well let's say that um, we wanted to cut the bottom half of this image out so instead of you know his feet it would say maybe we want to add some text in there or maybe we just want to cut out this rope and put in I don't know like a hot dog so it looks like he's eating a hot dog I don't freaking know the important thing is you can do many things but let's just focus on making that selection for this tutorial so once you have your tool selected in order to make a normal selection just go ahead and drag with your cursor and once you release you can see that the selection is made and it's gonna have these little I call them marching ants around a little dotted line now like I said with a selection what you can do is a bunch of different things you can cut that um, paste it another location but uh, for now like I said we won't get into what you can do with the selection I only want to show you guys how to use this tool now you may be thinking okay that tool is easy enough to use however there are a bunch of sub options that you can or options sub options options tomato tomato that you can use with this tool the first one is this little doohickey right here this is add to selection now whenever you have this option chosen what you can do is you can make another selection and it adds that to the current selection so as you can see we have a selection over old Dan's eye if we want to get his nose in this as well make a new selection and as you can see whenever I release that we now have one huge entire selection his eye and his nose and you can do this as many times as you want if you want to get his other eye in there too select that check it out one freaking huge selection now of course since we have add this next one is subtract so maybe we want to say you know what I just want his eyes in there so let's go ahead and subtract the nose and it takes this portion out from the current selection now this last one is the only one that can get kind of confusing what this intersect with selection does is it's gonna allow you to make a new selection then what it's gonna do is it's gonna see where it overlaps this selection and creates a selection based on that weird let me go ahead and show you so you see that we have two of his eyes in the little spot above his nose selected right now well I'm gonna go ahead and make a new selection that selects all of this area now take a note that the only place that these two selections overlap is his eye his right eye so I'm gonna go ahead and release and check it out wherever the two selections overlapped is where I'm gonna get that current selection that oh oh blah, 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 boom, boom, boom. oh sorry that's why it's called intersect selection tool basically where they overlap now a lot of people ask you know what how do I get rid of a selection if I say okay oh crap I pressed the wrong thing let me just go ahead and get rid of that crap how the heck do I get rid of it altogether? Well, in order to get rid of your entire selection, hold down Control on your keyboard and press Z. This pretty much allows you to start from new. And you know what? Actually, I shouldn't have made all those selections. But, <laughs> but um, well, let me say this. Whenever you make a selection for the first time and you hit Control Z, it's um gonna do undo, and that's the shortcut for undo. But the shortcut for um D selection I guess it's called is control D so let me go ahead and demonstrate that one more time control Z is undo and that may do it if it's your first selection but control D is D selection so I guess I probably should have said that first and foremost but now hey you guys know shortcut for undo as well so the other two things that I want to talk to you guys about is fix ratio and fix size selection so with this selection tool right now we're in normal that means we can make uh, rectangle selections this shape this shape 
perfect square if we want. Now aside from just making you know a free total freedom over your selection you can give it a certain rules to, fo to follow. So for style if we put fixed ratio of course one to one a one to one rectangle is a square so if you do that you can't make anything but a square go ahead and try I dare you to. Now if you do fixed size what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to input a certain pixel amount. Now 64, 64 is kind of a small uh, square so what you can do is obviously since you have a fixed size you don't need to drag because it already knows how big it's going to be. All you need to do is with this selected hover over a portion of your image and click. Now obviously as you can see what it does is it makes that selection and it uses your cursor as the upper left hand side or left hand point of that rectangle. So one more time just go ahead and click and as you can see it makes a selection on the image that's 64 by 64 and it uses your cursor as the upper left hand side. Now that is basically how you make a selection using the rectangular marquee tool. I know <coughs> Oh, what the heck just flew into my throat? That was disgusting. But uh, yeah, there's not much to it once you know all the different tools. Probably 90% of the time, you're just going to go with normal and normal, or whatever this one's called. New selection, normal. That gives you the most freedom. And you guys are going to learn some keyboard sh shortcuts in upcoming tutorials. But for now, thank you guys for watching.